Okay, Jordan stealing kills. Catastrophe! Fuck! Where's the net? Where's the fucking net? It's not there. God damn it! Game clip that shit. Oh. Yeah, rack, rack it. <laughs> Game clip that shit still. <laughs> you better Screw game clip like that. Done. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys, Eagle Precursor are here, and today I'm bringing you uh, some Umfrigs from Warzone. These are two Umfrig unbelievable gameplays. One is Skirmish at Darkstar with the Carbine, Blood Savannah, and Answer. Second is Stormbreak where I used a few more weapons. Um, let's see, what the hell did I have? CE Pistol, Spanker Prime, Ad Victorian, Whiplash, and Light Vers I found. Uh, in, these video, in this video, sorry, I want to do a little bit of a... Uh, strategy guide to how I got these. I won't be talking the full time, I've trimmed down the Umfrigs a little bit, but I wanted to make a video like this for a bit, where I just talk about kind of uh, stuff that I did during these uh, gameplays so that I could secure myself with the Umfrig medal. And just before I get started with that, first of all two things, I want to give a shout out first to my friend Rose has arrived. You saw his gameplay in the description, he made, I mean, fuck, saying not in the description, you saw his, um, his video in the start as the intro. He made a 10 minute video of me and him and Foxy Kid playing a game of Warzone. And shit was fucking hilarious. So it mean a lot to me if you go to his channel and check him out. I'll put, uh, put it in the description. And other thing is, I'm kind of getting bored of Warzone just cause they, are, they need to release some more wrecks. And I think they are doing that soon. So for a little bit, probably like one week or so, I'm gonna be doing infection videos. I still wanna make that weapons guide location video or whatever. Now, I know a ton of people have done them, but you know, I, I think I wanna make a more structured one. Just, uh, I, I, um, with, with more, more of the locations rather than just CE pistols. And yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So basically, what you've just seen is me hanging around in the colony, slaying kids, and off the start of this map, you should really always try and have colony control. Now, in this game, uh, we had pretty much map control the entire time, which basically means, not it doesn't, it doesn't just mean the middle base, uh, like, I wanted to say map control means you have the middle base, but as, as my uh, Stormbreak gameplay shows, I feel like sometimes having the middle base doesn't always mean you have full control as we uh, they had both armories in that gameplay so it kind of feel like we were trapped this uh, is a guy chasing me I just showed him who was boss so for the first bit of this game I was basically just sitting here with the carbine picking them off as they left their armory and uh, I sped this little bit up here as you can see because I didn't get any kills I was just picking off kids and getting assists So yeah, now I'm out of carbine ammo, so I'm gonna pull the Saban, just cause we still have control of this area, so I'm just gonna try and lock it down with this Saban, and uh, I didn't really want to push out the fortress at this point, just because um, none of my teammates were really there, so I decided to just kind of use fortress as cover, but now the elite general's popped up, so I decided that now is a good time to push, after getting this kill here, I think. Uh, where the hell was it? Oh, after, after getting this long range kill, I'm gonna push up. Because I know the enemies are gonna be rushing that boss. And uh, it'll give me a nice area to kind of like uh, pick him off as he's run to it. I got a nice little kill tag here. So. At this point, just looking to use all my ammo, just picking them off, says, picking them off from the base as well, popping up through the holes of the uh, fortress canopy, I guess you'd call it. At this point, I almost died, so I, um, I thrust away, looked to peek out again, but because they spot me, I know that this is now too risky, and I'm going to push back and kind of like reposition myself, wait for them to come, and... As soon as I run out of ammo, I, I couldn't save my friend being assassinated there, but as soon as I run out of ammo, we're going to pull the answer. And this right here is a, is a number one way to lose your own frig, jump right in front of a water. Thankfully that guy was uh, not able to kill me. 
So, uh, I still wanted, I still, um, even though the answer's powerful, I still think you should play pretty, no, play pretty cautiously with it. But at this point, I had saved up enough for an overshield, and when you once you have an overshield and answer, you really don't need to be cautious. You can just run in. Well, I don't know. I, I'd say that you still need to be a little bit cautious, but not really. You can just slay. So I'm heading to the armory now because this is the only base they have, and because I have such firepower, they're not going to really be able to take me down. So I know that I no longer need to play safe. Cleaned out their armory, so I'm just looking for more people. Guys, there was a guy going for the boss. It's always a good idea to look around bosses for enemies to kill whilst also keeping your distance. Now our teammates are triple capping them, so this means we have ultimate control of the map. And all I really need to do now is not die, and I'm a few kills away. So just play around the armory, look for people. There's the Incarn, and um, this point I could have actually grabbed another overshield, but I decided against doing that. Didn't really see a point to it. Saw that guy with the goose. I thrust it back because I thought that was a uh, gun goose, but wasn't. And there we go, that's the first frig, and the, the unfrig meta loves to actually run away, I've noticed, and that was just unfortunate that I accidentally clambered that. But that was the first one on uh, Darkstar, this is a uh, second one on Stormbreak, and in this game we had a little less control. At the start here, they're capping fort, but our teammates managed to pull a uh, cap on their base which allowed us then to, because now they can only spawn at their home base, it allowed us to flip fortress and take it. Just putting shots on that ghost and kind of jumping out because I know the ghost would have killed me if I stayed there and tried to take it on. I'm kind of just positioning myself in places where it, I can get first shot. Okay, so the ghost comes back around. I actually don't know what damaged it there, but I cleaned it up. Now we have Fortress. So at this point in the game, we do have uh, control again, I would, I would say. So I can now push up on their base. And I'm going to be using this West Ridge area and just uh, underneath Ice Caves over here. This area, I don't want to push right up to their base, and you should never really push bases directly unless uh, you have like heavy power like I don't know like an overshield answer or something you know like you shouldn't push a base especially if you know there's a ton of people there I should have actually zoomed in with that but I was being shot and I didn't for some reason but now I'm being grenaded so I'm gonna push back see the kid over there just long range uh, shooting with that Add I actually learned how to do that from the glitch in Forge, surprisingly. Not from Warzone. So here I see a ton of people coming down and I just, I'm just i just going to let them feed me and run away. Unfortunately I spammed a bit and here I got way too lucky. Do not do that. If you think you're going to get rushed, do not do what I do. Do not do what I did right there. Get the hell out. Don't try and charge me like an idiot. Because you will get killed unless you get that lucky. So now, uh, I pulled a rocket from random, did very well with it, got one kill. And at this point, because we still have a little, we still mostly have control, I'm just going to stay around this area of fortress and watch towards the base. Okay, so at this point, this is where they've taken both our bases. And they're about to be pulling out banshees and all the mantises, they have about four mantises at one point. So I decided the best thing to do is just sit the sea pistol. And I basically, for about the next two minutes, I think, I was just sitting in Fortress, looking out of it to get people. 
I decided not to push up, and basically, if you're in one of these situations where you find yourself, um, I think, I think the word's pincered, I'm not too sure about that. But if you're in one of these situations, it really only happens on this map, where you have Fortress and they have two bases and you can't really leave. If you're trying to get the frig, just, I would say, stay in the Fortress, be cautious, pull a sniper maybe, I don't know, or pull a CE. This guy decided to drive a hog in here, and this play may have been a bit too risky, but it worked out for me, because the guy jumped in the seat. It's all basically about knowing the right plays and positions to be in and making yourself as uh, left, like, uh, least vulnerable as possible. So, in this position right now, I'm not vulnerable at all because I have Fortress to shield me. <coughs> oh god. <clears throat> I have Fortress to shield me and uh, Enemy eliminated, Commander there's the Banshee. You know, but if I was right outside their base, they would be uh, able to clear me out uh, pretty easily and it wouldn't go down very well. So at this point, I ran out of CE ammo, I'm pulling the Prime, and now me and my friend Andrew are going to push West Armory now because we know that most of the people have become from East the entire time. So we made the assumption that no one was going to be in West. Pushed it. Spanky Prime is one of those weapons that you can push with and be aggressive, and we were right, there was no one here. As you can see, there's a ton of mantises outside. I left all this in just so when you're capping an armory, you kind of always want to be watching the, the main entrances, like up top, bottom, and below, and stuff. There's no one that actually came in, from this guy over here, but he was just a bit too late to save his armory. And finally, I decided to just pull a speed boost and go into the enemy base, like towards it, because at this point again we'd regain control of the map, because they only have one base and we have the middle. And I was feeling confident, because I had Spanker Prime and it is such a powerful weapon that I just decided while still playing carefully to just run in and try and slay him. There we go, that is frig number two, and I died because I played too aggressive, but managed to still get the unfrig. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay guys, these gameplays, and uh, I'll leave you this little clip from Rose's video now, and I'll see you soon. Didn't try pull a sniper in a moment. Let's go Jordan. That's free. Pop. Hang on, where's the net? It's not there. Oh, Damn got it. it, I got a fucking pocket ah, again, man. <laughs> <laughs> that sets me. How many whips have you got, Flames, bro? Fuck off! Stealing my kills, you fucking bitches! Oh, fucking piss off! <laughs>